In this video, I'll talk about conditional formatting in Excel. It helps you highlight important information based on specific conditions. Let's bring our dataset to life. Alright, take a look at our sales dataset. Let's say you want to highlight the sales where the profit amount is greater than $2500. Easy. Select the entire profit column in the F5 to F12 range. Go to the Home tab, click on the Conditional Formatting drop-down in the Styles group of commands and select Highlight Sales Rules, then Greater Than. Write 2500, click OK and the cells with a profit over $2500 get highlighted with a pop of color. Highlighting cells with an amount less than a preferred value is also possible. Let's undo the action. You can highlight cells that fall within a certain range. The profit column is already selected. Now click on the between option. Set the lower and upper limits. Here I want to format those between 1800 and 2200. So write 1800 and 2200. Keep the default style which is light red fill with dark red text. Other formats are also available. Also you can create your own custom format. You can set a custom text string and Excel will highlight cells that include that text. Select the cells person column as it contains text. Click on the text that contains option. In the box, type H. All the cells containing H anywhere inside them will be highlighted. Type more letters to narrow down the result. Finally, HAR. Cells D5 and D12 are formatted because the text HAR is present in both Harry and Harper. This feature is useful for quickly spotting and emphasizing relevant information in the spreadsheet. A date occurring option allows users to easily format cells containing dates based on condition. You can choose predefined rules such as yesterday, today, tomorrow, in the last 7 days and more. Highlighting duplicate values is also possible. If you look closely, 1600 occurs twice, so it's a duplicate value. Let's see if Excel can detect it or not. Select the entire dataset, click on duplicate values. There are two options, duplicate and unique. I'm selecting duplicate now and clicking OK. It's perfect. To find the top performers, select the sales amount column, go to the conditional formatting and choose top or bottom rules and click on top 10 items. More similar types of commands are available. Top 10%, bottom 10 items, bottom 10%, above and below average. You can change the number from 10, reduce it to 3 and click OK. You will get the top 3 sales amounts helping you spot the sales champs. Conditional formatting has more to offer and we'll see them in the next part. Time for a quick pop quiz. Let's say you have a mark sheet of 10 students in a certain subject. How will you format half of the students who got the lowest marks with conditional formatting? Drop your answer in the comments. See you in the next video.